So this demo, we're gonna show you how we do some of our plot spraying. We're also gonna spend some time talking about different nozzles and what kind of ideal droplet size you would have with these different uh, nozzle types that we're uh, running today. So what you're looking at here, we actually have our spray equipment that we use to spray a lot of our answer plots out in the countryside here. Uh, these are for just small plot research type spraying. It's a 10 foot boom. And uh, right here, what we have is we have a CO2 tank. Uh, the CO2 tank's what pressurizes the whole system. And it actually puts pressure down into this can here. And then there's a straw down here in the base that comes up to this uh, outlet here. And so what it does is it pressurizes the tank, pushes the fluid up from the bottom of the tank out to the line, and then down into this boom. This is a 10 foot wide boom, so it'll do about uh, four different rows at a time. And then we just basically uh, do speed and pressure to make sure that we're getting the adequate number and adequate amount of treatments out in a specific location. Now this is if we're doing lots of treatments. Uh, oftentimes though, if we're just spraying one plot, we'll actually use just a two liter bottle and pressurize that and use that as our application. So as you can see here, we got it all pressurized, ready to go, and we'll do some different shots here. Uh, but you can see as we charge the boom, that's what it looks like. All right, we're spraying the AI nozzle right now. This is an AIXR nozzle. So this is the XR nozzle or extended range nozzle. Very fine droplets. So here are the results from our spraying demonstration outside. You can see here we have four different nozzle types and we'll, we'll talk about all of the different nozzle types uh, in a later section here. But when you look at these four different nozzles, we have an XR, AIXR, AI nozzle, and a TTI, all going to a larger and larger droplet size. Now, when you look at the XR, for example, it gives you really, really good coverage, but you also do have an increased potential for drift. Whereas with an AIXR, you get a little bit bigger droplets, you do start to reduce the amount of coverage that you have. An AI nozzle, you're getting even uh, less coverage, but you do have a lot less of those driftable fines in here. And finally, that TTI nozzle, you can see is very, very big droplets. We're missing a good majority of this target here, uh, but we don't have nearly the driftable fines. Now this is at 20 gallons per acre. We would see less, even less coverage as we reduce the gallons per acre with these uh, particular nozzles. Now, when I start looking at these nozzles and what they're doing, this XR and the AIXR nozzles, they're gonna provide me with better coverage. So depending on the nozzle size, this is probably gonna be more of a contact type chemistries, your Liberties, your Flex Stars, your Cobras, um, your fungicide, insecticide, those two nozzles there work well. With the AI nozzle and the TTI nozzle, these are gonna work better for your uh, systemic type chemicals. If you're going foliar, an AI nozzle is gonna work best for your uh, nozzles, nozzle selection there. If, however, you're going more soil applied or using dicamba on soy soybeans, that TTI nozzle is gonna be your best bet. Now, as we will discuss in a later section, um, depending on your pressure and your size of nozzle, this can change some. So just be pay, pay attention to the droplet sizes in the nozzle book to make sure you're matching the right nozzle size and type with the right application.